And I understand, Ken, who uh, joins us now, that you literally agreed the date of that documentary yesterday morning. That's right. Isn't that spooky? Yeah. 28th of May, I agreed to fly to Paris to do this documentary. And... Oh, my goodness. And uh, the other well, spooky the thing is that you... Yes, it's for French television, yeah. Yeah, I yeah. speak French. About the history of the cathedral, what yes, it's built and all yes. the rest of it. Yeah. Well, what, one of the reasons you're here is, quite apart from that remarkable coincidence, you know a lot, a lot about Notre Dame. You wrote a book some years ago called Pillars of the Earth, which was actually all about a fire in a medieval cathedral. And therefore, t as part of your research, you looked at how the cathedrals were built and how they would be left vulnerable to fire. So, it's very early days, but with that specialist knowledge, what's your first thought on this? What do you think might have happened? It's 99% certain that, that it would have started in the roof space. Hmm. Uh, and that's because that's the only place where there's anything inflammable, where there's anything to burn. The roof is made of, of oak, timbers, hearts of oak, and many of them are very old. Some have been replaced over the centuries, but many of them are very old, hundreds of years old. And therefore and very dry. dry. Yes. So they could burn. And the other thing about the roof space is that there's litter there. There shouldn't be. It's uh. supposed to be pristine. Now, the roof of Notre Dame is made of lead tiles. Ah, uh, was. Very heavy. Was. Tragically, we've got to say was today. So the, the timbers burn and collapse. The roof falls down, all of that debris falls on top of the vaulting. Now, if you, you'll remember, standing inside the cathedral, the wonderful curved ceiling. We call it, the, we call it vaulting, but it's a... It's, it's the a, bit that you look up at and absolutely. feel inspired it's by, isn't it? so marvellous. But that's made of very... Of, it's made of stone mortared together, thin stones mortared together. So the debris from the roof falls on that, mm. crashes that, and all of that... So that's hundreds of tons mm. of wood and lead and stone, and it falls down into the body of the cathedral mm. and it destroys the pillars. I should think it's all lost. I can't imagine that any... any I can't imagine any relics will have survived. I love cathedrals and, mm -hmm. I, and I love going to services in cathedrals. Barbara and I went to Midnight Mass on, uh, on Christmas Eve at Notre Dame a few years ago. Mm. Marvellous experience. Even though, even though I'm not a believer. But for but for, for believers, these things, they have cherished this, these mm. things for hundreds of years. Yes. For, uh, fr uh, French Catholics have, have uh, kept these things safe all these years, mm. and, and to them, they are more precious than money could buy. And just as we finish here, just briefly, and you say you speak fluent French and you, you're there all the time, tell us about the relationship of the French people with Notre Dame, because it's, it's, it's unique um, as a, a relationship with a building. Um, it's, it's very personal, isn't it? It's almost a, a yes. love affair. It's the centre of Paris. It's on the Ile de la Cité, which, which was originally... The, the whole of Paris was on that island, mm. originally. And the church was right in the middle of it, and then Paris grew up all around it. But, mm. So when, when they say it's the heart of Paris, mm. they mean that geographically as well as spiritually. Yes. Mm. And, so, and, and you can see it from afar, and everybody goes... And everybody so much goes. French history has unfolded there. I mean, N N Napoleon was basically crowned there, as it were. Um, Joan of Arc was beatified there. I mean, so much... Real royal dis weddings, lots of royal yes, weddings. Yes. I, I, in, in my last book, I described two royal weddings in Notre Dame de Paris. Uh, and, and so... It, and what it does is it connects them with their past. Just as when we walk past Westminster Abbey, we feel the same thing. There is something that has been... It's been there for Mm. Not as long as Notre Dame, but 700 years as opposed to nearly a thousand years. And we think, yeah, people like us were walking past exactly that mm. church yes. Yes. 700 years ago. Yes. And it makes you feel that connected. Makes we're connected. Sense, yes. This is my country. Yeah. This, is a, sem, this is symbolic of my country. This and is what we I are. belong. It's what mm. we are. And that's how. That's how the French... Fascinated. Well, lovely to talk to you. It'll be interesting to see if you go ahead and make that documentary. It might yeah. be quite a different one, but do come back and talk to us about it if you do. Thank you.